In this video, we'll take a closer look at the game of Australian football and explain some rules and strategies in greater detail. The game begins when the umpire throws the ball up in the middle of the field. Two players called Ruckman run and jump at the ball to tap it to the advantage of two other players. Players can jump into each other and use their body to block their opponent, but they must always be looking at the ball. A ball up happens after a goal, when the ball goes out of bounds, and when the ball is stuck in a group of players. When a player catches the ball after a kick that's traveled more than 15 meters, they are awarded a free kick and they can't be tackled. Their opponent stands on the mark, which is the point the player marked the ball, with their arms in the air. The player that caught the ball moves back several meters away from their opponent. The player can kick or handball the ball to any other player. If a ball is caught from a handball, no free kick is awarded and the game continues. Players that mark the ball can keep running and continue to play on. If a player deviates from their line during a free kick, the umpire will call play on. If an opponent goes over the mark or comes too close to the player that has the free kick, a 50 meter penalty is awarded. In Europe, this is a 15 meter penalty. Players can wrestle with their opponents to mark the ball, but they cannot hold the clothing or the arms of a player or push the player in the back. Any contact with a player's back between the neck and hips and between the shoulders is penalized with a free kick. Players can use their hips and arms to push their opponent away or to punch the ball and spoil a potential catch. A common skill is to lead or run into empty space away from your opponent in order to catch the ball without them fighting you. Kicking the ball off the ground without picking it up is possible, but frowned upon, as the kicker has no real control over where the ball goes, owing to the oval shape of the ball. Kicking off the ground also endangers any other player that's bending over to pick up the ball. Players bending over to pick up the ball can be bumped as long as there is no contact above their shoulder and the head remains untouched. A goal is worth six points and is scored when the ball is kicked between the two large posts. It can fly over the line or bounce through. If it is touched by a player from either team before going over the line or the ball hits the post, it's worth one point. If the ball travels between the large post and the small post, that's also worth one point. There are no own goals and a defender can take the ball over their opponent's goal line for one point. When a goal is scored, the ball returns to the middle for a ball up. After a point though, the ball is kicked in by an opposing player who must stay inside the goal square. Players are taught and trained regularly how to tackle safely, but also how to safely be tackled and fall to the ground without injury. Any player that is tackled or hit intentionally or accidentally above the shoulder is also awarded a free kick. Sling tackles or dangerous tackles are tackles that endanger a player's head. These types of tackles often have two separate motions. They pin the arm of the player against their body and leave a player's head vulnerable. Players that are tackled like this are awarded a free kick. Players that are tackled legally must kick or handball the ball before they fall to the ground. If they are tackled immediately after taking possession of the ball and don't have opportunity to dispose of the ball, the umpire calls a ball up. If the ball is knocked out of the hands of the player by the person tackling them, the umpire will call play on. Players that are tackling another player cannot fall into the back, as this is considered a push. A common tactic is to spin as you tackle. With all the hitting and tackling in Australian football, injuries are not as common as you might think. The most common injuries are to fingers as new players aren't familiar with catching a ball of this shape. Twisted ankles and knees are also common due to the jumping nature of the game, but head injuries are not common at all. Unfortunately, some of the most popular videos on YouTube about AFL focus on big hits, injuries and bumps making AFL seem a lot more dangerous than it really is. 
Attackers or forwards are the strikers of the game. Their job is to get the ball and score goals by outplaying, outrunning and outmuscling their opponents. A common strategy used in Poland is for a forward to push into the midfield for extra numbers to help get the ball forward quicker. Midfielders do a lot of running and travel all over the field. They're responsible for winning the contests when the ball is restarted after a goal and during a ball up. Midfielders help move the ball from their team's defense and put it into attack. Defenders obviously stop their opponents by scoring, by getting the ball out of the defensive area as quickly as possible. Defenders are the foundation of many full team set plays and strategies. Take a look at some of our other videos or learn more about Australian football at footballaustralisk.pl.